KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. There are 500 children in some type of foster care on Guam currently, which was higher than the 300 reported in April. But there is only 36 active licensed foster families that are able to take care of them. PD Mayor Jesse Alec, who is also the Mayor's Council of Guam president, said that the body are stepping up to the plate to help address the situation. And so the Mayor's Council uh, voted on it and we decided that it was best that instead of having a Christmas party that we would focus our efforts on uh, putting a, a campaign together to recruit uh, at least 19 foster families. And so it is called the gift of family. To date, 85 foster children are placed among the 36 licensed homes. Mayor Alex says the goal is to recruit at least 19 families from across the island by Christmas. We're doing it because we feel that there is a need. There's a greater need to, to recruit more families for our foster care system. Child Protective Services is in need of foster parents as referrals, which are reports of suspected maltreatment, continue to come in on a daily basis. There were 450 foster kids reported in May, but only 72 was in licensed foster homes while the rest are in relative or non-relative placements, among other shelter programs like Sanctuary Incorporated and Alley Shelter, just to name a few. Mayor Melissa Savarez of Dededo said that there is more that needs to be done and those programs aren't cutting it. And you know, and the shelters that we have, the emergency shelters for children are not enough. Mayor Savarez noted that the MCOG is determined to recruit as many foster families, whether it be for emergency placement or long-term care. Since the start of the drive, Mayor Alec pointed out that there is a lot of villagers interested in joining the movement. And I always say it because I really am very grateful that Mayor Savars jumped on because she she is a, the largest village and she's got, a, you know, she's got a lot. She can tell you the stories, but I have also got uh, received a lot of inquiries and and just questions. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. The drive is supposed to wrap up in December, but if the foster care situation does not improve, the MCOG plans to extend it through next year. If by December we, we need to continue the campaign, we, we will continue uh, through May 2022. Meanwhile, Harvest House hosts informational meetings for those interested in becoming a foster parent. Through those meetings, the nonprofit goes over the application process, requirements, and benefits of opening your heart and home to the island's children in need of placement. Interested individuals can call CPS at 671-475-2653, your respective village mayors, and Harvest House online at harvesthouseguam.org. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusia Zia Agan.